I have the big pleasure to have with me Mr. Danny Lemberger, the owner of Life, Life Power System in Israel, in Haifa. I was in Haifa, I liked it very much, and uh, the day I was there, the days I was there, Mr. Lemberger was in Germany. We met it after that, the second time I went there, and uh, now that I see he's in Greece, I want to ask him what is Life Power and why he wrote these excellent books to introduce people to this mental system. Hi, Danny. Hi, Kostas. Danny. Thank you very much for hosting me. Tommy and I, we're very happy to be here. Yeah, it's our pleasure. And the, the lectures you gave with your wife, Tommy, were very, very penetrating and very interesting to, to Greek people. Thank you. What's life, life power in your attitude and in, in your understanding? Life power, you name it, life power, what's it? Well, it's a system of improving man's condition, making people more able, more aware, mm -hmm. and uh, in better mental and spiritual situation, condition in life. Yeah. Uh, which one of your books, we have written six books, which one of your books describes better uh, the procedure of cleaning the burdens and the bad incidents in one's life? Well, this is the basic book, it's called Life Power. Mm -hmm. I wrote the Life Power book and then when it expanded, we made it the Life Power Library. And now we have a network of Life Power Academies in different locations that deliver the courses mm -hmm. and that are based. In, in which countries? Well, we have now in Israel two locations, in Haifa, which is where we are in Tel Aviv. Ah, you have a, a branch in Tel Aviv also? Well, our partner, Don Saul, brilliant young man, he has a big center in Tel Aviv. Mm -hmm. We are in Haifa. Uh, we have a center in Riga, Latvia, that is operating already five years very successfully with our partners, Kaspars and Gatis. Mm -hmm. uh, Life Power Prague. Prague. Czech Republic is opening soon. And I hope with your help, we will open a Life Power Athens uh, yeah. soon. That's the plan. <laughs> Yes, Athens will be successful, I think, because people here want something new and some of them, not many, but uh, many enough, I would say, want to improve themselves. Good. Yes, yes. Uh, you have written a book for business also, for executive, I see here, Executive Freedom. Yes. An Executive Freedom, Executive Freedom is a book for executives. For what's managers, for, for leaders. For managers, yes. Yeah. What's, what's all about? Well, all the books that I wrote are based on my many, many years of study of the applied philosophy of the American Ron Hubbard. Mm -hmm. And he was a great man. He wrote many books. He developed many, many different technologies mm. to improve the state of man. Mm -hmm. uh, we decided that to make it more available to the broad public, we need to write introductory books so people can easier yeah. read, study, drill, and apply this philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, uh, the able ones and the ones who want, they can go to the bigger books. Later in, on. Later people on. start with this, and when they understand the basics, the fundamentals, then they continue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This book specifically that you ask about, the Executive Freedom the executive book. Executive Freedom because an executive is never free. <laughs> so you press the button of freedom. He's enslaved in, the, in his tasks. Well, if the executive knows how to organize and how to manage people and how to share the work with his group and how to build uh, a successful and an efficient group, a competent group, then of course he can go free. He can lead the group, manage the group, but he can choose to go into the group and do things or distance himself. An executive without uh, an organizational mind, without uh, organizational abilities, do you think eventually w will fail or have problems? Well, he will drown because he will always be embattled in the organization and troubled by the organization. Trying to cope all the time. And he's in coping and trying and making an effort to make things work. 
but all the time getting dragged in by problems mm-hmm. and incompetent people and situations that if you don't organize it properly, correctly, one time if you don't organize it correctly, you always get dragged in to the turmoil, turmoil and yes, the yes. crisis inside the organization. And not having time for yourself at all sometimes. Yeah, you all. have to handle the organization all the time. Uh, this book more than the other draws on my education and my personal experience because in addition to study of Hubbard management technology, I have an MBA degree. Yeah, you speak about this book, Executive yeah, Freedom. Yeah, Executive Freedom, and yeah. I have many, many years of experience as a manager in business, in yeah, organization. Yeah, you've dealt with several business, not uh, life power is your, li- your love of, of your life. Yeah. But you uh, have a real estate business and other businesses. And others. So I draw on my experience and I give more examples here mm. and how to apply, I, how I have successfully applied this knowledge. And as I know, this system, Life Power, uh, specializes also in study essentials, how to study, makes a child a teenager or an adult. An adult, yeah. Because. How to study? Exactly, because we. Study essentials, our <laughs> friends. <laughs> So throughout life we study, we learn, we go into new areas. Even if you've been a professional 30, 40 years in an area, there's always advancement and changes in any field. So you have to be able to read, to study, to learn all the time. Uh, Hubbard researched the area of study very thoroughly. He discovered what are the three barriers to study. And how to overcome these barriers. So we have some barriers that you, if we know how to overcome, we study easier? Uh, definitely. If mm. you know what you are coming up against, if you know what is slowing you down, uh, what are the hurdles, then you know how to handle, how to overcome. And you can study much easier any subject, any area that you want that's to specialize very, that's in. very interesting. And very yes. Interesting. And I see your life power. Oh, communication. I see communication. Yes. <laughs> Everybody communicates, and few can communicate really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We communicate all the time, like you and I are doing manual. now. Yeah, communication manual. And what's uh, about our techniques of communication? Uh, drills. We have drills. eight communication drills. Mm-hmm. Uh, Is something that can be taught communication, or it's natural? You think? Well. Communication is natural because we communicate all the time. People have the idea that when they communicate, they need to talk all the time. Yes. But actually, the first thing about communication is being willing and able to listen. Yes. We are very <laughs> lacking. We don't have enough listeners. <laughs> so we need to listen. <laughs> and we need to be comfortable with the person we are with. Like right now, we are comfortable one with the other. Yes. So the ability to be there comfortably, the ability to confront, to sit in front of somebody. And, yeah. and then we can communicate. So we have drills here. Uh, so in addition to theory of relations and cooperation and what is understanding, mm-hmm. we have the eight drills that build up your ability to be a successful communicator. That's very nice. That's very nice. Interesting technology. Uh, most people, not most, more and more, I would say, today want to get better because uh, the betterment and the efficiency is what is needed nowadays. Right. Nowadays, yeah. we are very grateful you wrote these books. I th- I know these books are in Hebrew, in English, in Russian. Oh, many more. Well, I write the books in English, yeah. and then they are translated into, of course, uh, although Hebrew. Although you're a Jew, you yeah. write them in English? I'm Israeli. Ah, I'm Israeli. Israeli. Ah, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I didn't know this distinction. <laughs> oh, yeah, Someday I'm Israeli. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will know. Oh, okay. You wrote. You write. I write them in English, of course. Yes. And then they are translated, like you said, to German, French, Spanish, Russian. Uh, now this book is being translated by the biggest publishers in Greece. Oh yes, like Kedros Publishers. Kedros Publishers, yes. Yeah, they are yes. translating into Greek. The yes. books are translated into Czech, because in for Czech, the Prague yes, Center, yes, yes, yes. and they are translated into uh, Latvian. Almost yes, ten languages. So we have ten languages already. Danny Lamberger and books. 
Uh, we have a group already in Budapest translating into Hungarian. Oh. And they will come to visit us next week to open Life Pro Budapest. So it's happening all the time. <laughs> it's happening. I hope every good step to you and uh, Greece is in need of uh, such a movement uh, to advance the soul and uh, the mentality of people. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.